If you're looking to develop an effective business growth strategy, the Tales Matrix can be a useful tool to help you identify and analyze strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of your organization. If it sounds familiar, then that is because it's an extension of the well-known SWOT analysis. Both tools can be used together to evaluate and improve your organization's or team's plans. Tales and SWOT analyses are both tools used for strategic planning, but they differ in their approach and focus. SWOT analysis is an acronym for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. This analysis is used to identify and evaluate the internal and external factors affecting an organisation. In a SWOT analysis, strengths and weaknesses are considered internal factors, while opportunities and threats are external factors. TAUS analysis, on the other hand, is a tool that builds on the SWOT analysis by combining the internal and external factors to generate strategic options. TAUS stands for Threats, Opportunities, Weaknesses and Strengths. In a TAUS analysis, the external factors are identified first, followed by the internal factors. In essence, TAUS analysis is more action oriented in its approach, building on the insights generated by the SWOT analysis to develop strategies and action plans. It emphasises the need for proactive responses to both internal and external factors, while the SWOT analysis is more focused on identifying areas for improvement and potential risks. When conducting a TAUS analysis, it's important to first identify your organisation's external environment, including the competitive landscape, customer needs and the external forces that may impact your organisation. Once you've identified the external environment, you can create a TAUS matrix, which can help you identify potential strategies. Identify the objective. Determine the main objective for conducting the TAUS analysis. This could be a general goal or a specific issue that needs to be addressed. Do a SWOT analysis. Identify the internal and external factors affecting the organisation by conducting a SWOT analysis. This involves listing the organisation's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. Strengths. What do you excel at? What do others see as your strengths? Weaknesses. What could you do better? What are others likely to see as your weaknesses? Opportunities. What opportunities are open to you? What trends could you take advantage of? Threats. What threats could harm you? What are your competitors up to? Translate your findings using a TAUS matrix. Once the SWOT analysis is complete, the next step is to match the internal and external factors. This involves taking the strengths and weaknesses identified in the SWOT analysis and matching them with the opportunities and threats identified. The rows represent the external environment, threats and opportunities, and the columns represent your internal environment, weaknesses and strengths. Each combination of rows and columns represents a particular strategy. For example, if you have a strength that could be used to capitalise on an opportunity, this would be listed in the Strengths Opportunities quadrant. Strength 1 is combined with Opportunity 1 and is written in the SO Strategy quadrant of the matrix and so on. The order doesn't matter. What matters is that each external factor is combined with each internal one in order to improve strengths and opportunities and eliminate threats and weaknesses. Link and assess your strategic options. Using the matched internal and external factors, generate a list of strategic options that could address the opportunities, weaknesses and threats while taking advantage of their strengths and opportunities. Consider multiple options for each quadrant of the TAUS analysis, as this will help identify the most effective strategies. For each combination of internal and external environmental factors, consider how you can use them to generate good strategic options. Strengths and Threats ST. This quadrant suggests how to use strengths to overcome threats. Go through every strength identified in the SWOT and then map out how they can be used to eliminate or at least minimise the threats that exist externally. Weaknesses and Threats WT. This quadrant highlights the weaknesses that need to be addressed to avoid threats. The aim is to come up with as many different strategies to mitigate both the internal weaknesses of the organisation along with external threats. These strategies are also known as defensive strategies because they essentially defend the organisation from deterioration and potential collapse. Put these into place to protect yourself from loss. However, don't rely on them to create success. Strengths and Opportunities SO. This quadrant highlights the strengths that can be used to take advantage of opportunities. The goal is to formulate strategies that employ the use of all internal strengths to make the most out of the external opportunities that present themselves. Weaknesses and Opportunities WO. This quadrant suggests ways to overcome weaknesses by taking advantages of opportunities. This quadrant is all about coming up with strategies to get rid of as many internal weaknesses as possible by using external opportunities. 
The alternatives you identify in this step are your strategic options. Here's an example. Company XYZ is a medium-sized online retailer that sells clothing and accessories. They have recently noticed a decline in sales and are looking to revamp their strategy. Here's an example of a TAOS analysis that they could use. Threats. Increased competition from other online retailers. Changes in consumer preferences. Economic downturn. Opportunities. Growing market for sustainable and eco-friendly products. Increased use of social media for advertising. Expanding into international markets. Weaknesses. Limited product range. Inconsistent product quality. Lack of brand awareness. Strengths. Strong customer service, quick and reliable delivery, established customer base. Based on the SWOT analysis, company XYZ could use the following strategies. SO strategies, leverage strengths and opportunities. Expand product range to include sustainable and eco-friendly products. Use social media to increase brand awareness. Explore opportunities to expand into international markets. WO strategies, address weaknesses and leverage opportunities. Improve product quality and consistency while emphasising eco-friendliness. Increase marketing efforts through social media to improve brand awareness. Expand into international markets to increase revenue and improve brand recognition. ST strategies. Leverage strength and address threats. Offer high quality and sustainable products to differentiate from competitors. Emphasise reliable and quick delivery to compete on service. Enhance customer service to retain loyal customers during an economic downturn. WT strategies. Address weaknesses and threats. Improve product quality to better compete against other retailers. Diversify product range to adapt to changing consumer preferences. Reduce costs to offset potential economic downturn. By using this TAOS analysis, company XYZ is able to generate a range of potential strategies that consider both the internal and external factors and identify opportunities for growth while addressing potential challenges. Evaluate and prioritise options. Once you've generated a list of strategic options, evaluate each one and prioritise those that are most likely to be successful. Consider factors such as feasibility of the strategy, the resources required, and the potential return on investment as well as risks. Develop an action plan. After identifying and prioritising the most effective strategies, Develop an action plan that outlines the steps needed to implement the strategies. This should include specific actions, timelines and responsibilities for each step. Monitor and adjust. Finally, monitor implementation of the action plan and make adjustments as needed. Regularly review the TAOS analysis and action plan to ensure they remain relevant and effective in achieving the organisation's goals. TAOS analysis is an effective tool for strategic planning as it allows organisations to identify potential strategies from both the internal and external environments, prioritise and then plan how to implement them. In addition, TAOS analysis is a more positive approach to strategic planning than the SWOT, as it focuses on the external environment and its potential opportunities.